A year has passed since the release of photographs showing Prince Frederick of Denmark strolling in Madrid, and we look back at how much Mary's life has changed since then. There are dates in a person's life that remain forever in their memory whether they mark positive or negative moments. For Mary of Denmark, November 8, 2023, was a day she will hardly forget. At that time, the princess was engrossed in participating in events related to the state visit of King Felipe and Queen Letizia when photographs of Prince Frederick, taken in Madrid, appeared in the media. These images generated a lot of public interest and put Mary in a difficult position. Twelve months later, Mary's life has drastically changed. Having become queen, she now leads a calm, everyday life alongside her husband, King Frederick. It seems they have put behind them all the challenges and trials that arose after those photographs. Today, Mary is fully focused on her new role, which she officially assumed on January 14, 2024. This moment came as a surprise to many, as no one could have foreseen that Queen Margaret would abdicate the throne at that time. I have no intention of abdicating, Queen Margaret frequently responded when questioned about the future of the throne. However, health issues and possibly other personal circumstances led to her decision to step down. On December 31st, during her New Year's speech, the Queen announced her decision to pass the throne to the next generation. Prince Frederick and Princess Mary learned about this just 15 days before the official announcement upon their return from Australia. Amid heightened attention to the photographs of the prince, Mary decided to take a break and spend some time on her home soil in Australia, taking her twins, Vincent and Josephine, along. Later, they were joined by Prince Frederick and their daughter, Isabella. In addition to the photographs, there was another important reason for the trip the desire to spend time with her father, John Donaldson. His health requires special attention, and Mary strives to visit him as often as possible, despite the 16,000 kilometers that separate them. On her birthday in February, she shared a touching photo with her father, which resonated with fans of the royal family. Last week, the Queen returned to Australia once again to visit him. Now, she has an even more compelling reason to return home to support a loved one. Returning to Significant Events in Mary's Life January 14, 2024, Queen Margrethe officially abdicated the throne at Christiansborg Palace, and Frederick became king, making Mary the queen consort. After nearly 20 years of preparation as the crown princess, Mary finally took her place on the throne. Eleven months after that historic day, Mary continues to fulfill her duties actively and Danes highly appreciate her efforts, regarding her as one of the most popular figures in the royal family. So this year also brought Mary an experience many parents face the empty nest syndrome. Her eldest son, Prince Christian, left home to spend several months in Africa, gaining life experience outside of the palace. The parents decided that it would be beneficial for the heir to spend some time outside Denmark, get to know the world, and face new conditions. After finishing Ordrup Gristusum and an eventful summer, the prince left for Africa. A few days after his departure, Mary spoke to the press and shared how she felt sad not to have her eldest son nearby. It is very hard to know that he is so far away, but this experience will bring him great benefits, and he will return soon, the king shared. However, Queen Mary enjoys the company of her three other children, Isabella, who is now 17, and twins Vincent and Josephine, who have become her faithful companions in her daily duties. Looking back at the past year, one can confidently say that despite the challenges, Mary's life has turned out quite well. She is a well-regarded queen and style icon, focused on her work and family, with warm thoughts of Australia, where her father lives. To this week, the Danish royal court confirmed that many aspects have undergone changes, including the titles of the royal couple. So this was evident during the celebration of 20 years of the Crown Prince Couples Award at the Vega Concert Hall in Copenhagen. The Cultural Award was established in 2004 under the name Crown Prince Couples Award, and since then it has been presented to recipients for achievements in social work, arts, and culture. Since 2005, theater teachers, writers, and actors 
have received this prestigious award, which is now undergoing significant changes. Now that Frederick and Mary are no longer the crown prince and crown princess, they have decided to part with the old tradition and start a new chapter. Tonight, we bid farewell to the Crown Prince Couples Award and welcome something new. For us, this is not the end of anything. While our titles have changed, our values remain the same. We will continue to support social initiatives, arts, culture, and the communities that inspire us. We will honor those who impress, inspire, and move us, the Royal Court said in an Instagram post. The Royal Couples Award, under its new name, will be presented for the first time in 2025 and will also include a new award for communities, a significant step forward in supporting social initiatives. Since Queen Mary returned from Australia, where she spent a few days with her daughter Josephine, her schedule has been extremely busy. On Sunday, the traditional Hubertus Hunt Day was celebrated at the Hermitage Castle. On Monday, the Queen visited one of the hospitals, and the following day she attended the Children's Aid Award Ceremony. In the evening, her first official event was held in the company of King Frederick. Looking back at the past year, it is clear that, despite challenges and difficulties, Queen Mary has navigated every trial with grace and found a sense of harmony. She has not only strengthened her role as a strong and loyal partner to King Frederick, but has also shown the world her dedication to her family, her care for her children, and her deep connection to her homeland. A Mary is an example of how, in challenging times, one can maintain warmth and humanity, finding strength in loved ones, and continuing to believe in the best. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of staying true to one's values, no matter how intense the media or public pressure may be. Mary not only managed to overcome difficult moments, but also used them as opportunities for personal growth and for strengthening family bonds. This year has been a year of transformation for her, but also one of new discoveries in solidifying the foundation that she and Frederick have been building for years. As a queen in the spotlight, she has managed to keep her kindness and charm, remaining an inspiration for many who look for guidance in family relationships and community engagement. It is a story of how, despite all difficulties, one can keep moving forward, and how love and loyalty to loved ones can overcome any challenge. Friends, thank you so much for joining us today as we explored the story of Queen Mary and her challenging yet inspiring journey. Life is always full of surprises, and as we've seen, even the most difficult moments can lead to the start of a beautiful new chapter. We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Mary handled the challenges she faced in the best way possible? What inspired you the most about her story this year? Please share your opinions in the comments below. We're really eager to hear what you think.